Hey, hey, Blue Table fans, yes, a lot of these videos. Don't worry, more is coming. You'll be, later this year, you'll be like, ah, you'll be choking on miniatures and battle reports. That's my goal. New place, two bat reps a week. That's what we're doing. Uh, I talked to Rich, and uh, he's coming in. So, Blue Table Painting, you guys have been following the grand and glorious saga that is BTP. Uh, right now, it's guerrilla warfare. Like, if the artists work at home, and I just, I'm just shuffling, answering the emails, and getting projects in and out, and it's, I'm, I'm pleasantly not quite surprised that everything's working out uh, really well, that it's, uh, things are functioning. And... Uh, there, there was a lead up to this, actually. I knew that the building, well, I don't know, did I tell you the inside story? So, uh, the building uh, was not for sale, and uh, then, but uh, originally I had uh, these um, <laughs> delusions of grandeur. This idea that I would build it into like this giant thing. Like at some point I had like charts on the walls, like 200 people, 300 people, how to be this giant juggernaut. And uh, the thing is it's like, well, guess what? Maybe that's not as fun as you think. And so I actually met with a local tycoon one time and I was talking to him, uh, you know, cause he owned, um, he owned like this big sprinkler and lawn care company. And he had, I think it was 150, 200 people working for him. And boy, that would change your life. And uh, he, you know, when he started talking to me, he was like, you know, Sean, you've got something good here. You've got to count, like, keep it family size, keep it simpler, and run it efficiently, and you'll, you'll just be a lot happier. So after talking to him, that kind of changed my perspective just a little bit. And the industry is prone to fragmentation because of the... The nature of the internet is to break things down to sort of this individual contact level, like capillaries, things being joined up very efficiently, like Uber, for example. I think it's a good example of that. Um, yeah, way back when I read this business book called The Killer App, which is supposedly some kind of invention or technology or way of thinking that disrupts a marketplace and changes, changes everything and how that can, you know, be this destructive influence or it can be this very creative influence. So, right now, uh, blue table painting to handle the projects coming through. I need somewhere between six and ten artists. And uh, I've got, uh, I've got uh, some of the old crew that's uh, staying on and actually is working out really well. Uh, but I also have, again, this, guys, this isn't the first time uh, this is my first reconstruction rodeo that, um, uh, again, you know, the timing, timing really is everything. And right now, just personally, I'm in a very relaxed state. I'm like, you know what? And what I found is things work, have been working out a lot better without me sort of flailing my arms. And uh, I think that affected my personal and business relationships too. Like the more I got sort of worked up if things were working out or, you know, had this idea that if things were going according to how I was imagining it, that, um, you know, I would need to somehow, you know, get in there and, rah, 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 and uh, make it work. And the fact is, well, when you're more relaxed and you, you know, wait a little bit and then when that inspired action comes or inspire, inspiration comes, you take some inspired action and, you um, it's certainly the case with the, uh, the, um, the ultimate fantasy role-playing. I've sat on that for a long time, and now it's, it's like, you know what? Now is the, now's the time to do that. Let's roll with that. I wake up in the morning, ding, let's do that. And so it's, it's good. I, I really I want you to meet the new people. They are, I have uh, three new hires coming on, and I get, and we don't just pick people up, you know, at random. There's a vetting process, and um, people with really amazing, like, they come in and it's like, bah, this artwork and this background, and 
you know, the things that I look for, vibe, chemistry, that the person is excited about it and thinks it's cool and, uh, you know, not like a stepping stone job, like, oh, I'll do this for a while and then blah, move on. Uh, it, it's quite the opposite. A lot of people are, um, especially if they have the soul of an artist, they get to a point where uh, it's, you know, a regular job just won't do. There has to be some inspiration. So when that talent and that inspiration, that interest uh, comes together, then there, there's really something to be said for that. And for me personally, I feel a lot better. I think that uh, my year of transformation uh, was wonderful and brought me a lot of great insights. But now, and, but now it feels like I'm, like I'm hungry again. Like I'm like, yes, let's do something. And the way that I'm running things, the way you're going to see things unfold in the near future is going to be, it's going to be something not seen before. That, and that was the big question for me, was, uh, was you know, like I, I built something, built it, built it, built it, built it, learned a little bit, but then kind of like it turned into this dead end, or not a dead end, but it, it was doing, you know, I, I have a choice. I can do the same thing over again and kind of like re replay it, or... I can take all my experiences, all my ideas, that inspiration, that insight, that perspective, and roll it in there, really think about it, and, uh, and think about it on all levels, on an intellectual and intuitive level, and rework it, into, rework it into like this different pathway. And for me, I think, I think this planet is like more like a giant online role-playing game that uh, we're here to we're here to have an adventure to enjoy ourselves and for me life is meant to be enjoyed and meant to be something wonderful and interesting and give a really give a really good story to tell so guys that's and i'm inviting you guys along on that adventure and believe me like i looked at the videos today i'm like oh the last one was like six days ago like sean what's wrong with you Get something up. At the very least, you've got something to say. Get the tripod up and, you know, uh, and, and talk. Give, you know, make, make a show. And uh, that's, that's what I'm doing. So as soon as I get things set up, there's going to be boards, bat reps, and a lot of exciting things coming through. So thanks for tuning in. And, um, oh, if you want a project done, contact me at projects at bluetablepainting.com.